Wakanda, Wakanda. Lemuria. Think it had anything to do with that massive face that appeared in the sky? Nah, probably unrelated. That cool lock Doctor Strange has on his sanctum. Where can I get one of those? I'll show those guys. The hand. It must be the hand. Nobody else could concoct a scenario so nefarious. <laughs> Can you believe they're still making video games about losers like the Avengers? They already had their turn. Two, in fact. Though I'm not sure if they're both strictly canon. Either way, when was the last time you saw a game with a duck on the cover? The industry needs to change, starting with my new game, codename Project Egg. Sadly, my quack starter campaign fell through, so I'm gonna need to find the funds for this thing some other way. Think you could help me find a wealthy entrepreneur that I can hit up for the dough? You won't regret it, kid. See what you can find out from the folks around here. There's gotta be at least one money bags in this joint. I could have totally been the Iron Fist. <laughs> Maybe they could have Thanks. Giant fireball to deal with. To be honest, I was expecting bigger things from Quackstarter after all the hype. Barely hit 5% of my goal. Kids these days don't know what they want. <sighs> my training never prepared me. You know Howard the Duck? I got something I was hoping you could pass on to him. A big slap upside the head. That feathered crook stole my sandwich. Find out anything about our wealthy friend? The hand. It must be the hand. I need a change of scenery. I need a change of scenery. That old prospector over in the Old West said he pulled a big hole of something out of the water the other day. Didn't say what it was, but he was winking so hard I thought he was going to hurt himself. And he was soaking wet. <laughs> what a strange fellow. There was some uh, questionable training taking place on the A new kind of... ATM refused my card the other day. Apparently, because my bank doesn't exist in this universe anymore. So now, I'm pretty much living on a diet of bits of old shoe. Which is surprisingly good if you leave it to soak in rainwater for a while. Hmm, yes. Quite lovely. I've been saving up for months to buy my dream car. But since everywhere I needed to drive to no longer exists, I don't need it anymore. So I did the logical thing and burned all my money. If some kind superhero could see their way to saving me right about... <laughs> Thanks. You had me worried for a minute there. That was fast. 
I'll let you know if I find any others. The thing they don't warn you about when working at the bank is the folks who keep you working late drying off waterlogged treasure. How'd it get so wet? And why was there so much of it? Whoever it belonged to must be ri i i i itch. <laughs> so what do you got for me? We're not gonna get attacked again, are we? I really want to roll up. Well, that's tragic and a little bit disgusting and absolutely no help to me. There was some, uh... Could be something there. If we can confirm it wasn't just an old booty dug up. All right. If you're... Mm, promising. If we knew who cashed in that loot, we could definitely hit them up. So putting what you've told me through the old Detective Melon, we can deduce that the old prospector over in the Old West recently came into some serious cheddar. This is perfect. The only thing now is to figure out how to convince an old-timey prospector to invest in a Talking Ducks video game. But that won't be the weirdest thing I do all week by any stretch. Thanks for the help, kid. And if you run into Forbush Man, could you tell him the funds are in the bag? Last I heard, the poor guy was looking into making money through social media marketing. Is there a person out there who can understand my vision? Working with Howard on this video game of his has been problematic. He laughed at my idea for the final boss, but I think he simply lacks the imagination to grasp its true awesomeness. But as an accomplished game designer, this is a problem I know how to fix. Some ideas are better to show than tell, so what we need is a prototype. We'll get you dressed up as my villain and show off your awesome villainy skills. Skillany. <laughs> so, you in? A smart decision. I'll show you my design for the character. You've signed an NDA, right? Whatever. Get yourself looking the part, then we can start the demo. This is your glorious ruler, Kang, with a quick message to whichever citizen just beat my high score. <laughs> Just another realm for me to rule. Looking good. We're lucky I managed to arrange this meeting with Howard. He's usually crazy busy on the phone with publishers all day and... Wait. We don't have a publisher yet. Ooh. 
That lazy. Soon as Howard shows up, I'll rustle up some enemies for you to fight. All right, Forbush, make this quick. I've got another meeting after this. About meetings. But we're the only two people working on... Ah, never mind. Feast your eyes on cock a doodle do What? Huh? No one is safe from this foul enemy. Oh, good. Poultry jokes. I assure you, this villain is no yoke. And not even original ones. Fried don't know what you mean. Ugh. Ah. Ugh. Ah. Just some cockatiel doom lays her enemies to waste with devastating expertise. The puns are making me like it less. You know that, right? Ah. Ah. If you think she's done with you yet, you're fresh out of clock. No! Nobody else could concoct a scenario so nefarious. And scene. <laughs> so, what do you think? Pretty hardcore, right? Pretty intimidating, right? Pretty... All right, stop saying words. You can put your stupid chicken boss in the game. But if any of the kids at the focus test start crying, it's coming straight out again. You won't regret this, Howard. If the folks at ChronoCon don't love it, I'll eat my saucepan. Oh, shoot. ChronoCon's coming up. What are we doing standing around yakking? We got to get the game finished. Oh, yeah. I forgot we actually had to make the thing. <laughs> Thanks for helping us out, pal. If you're going to ChronoCon, make sure to drop by the stand. Hey, you didn't think you could be that helpful and not unlock a new Gwenpool mission, did you? Go check out that bad boy! Speaking of ChronoCon, you did get the tickets, right? Uh, I thought you were doing that. <sighs> This is what I get for teaming up with a walking pot rack. Comrade, I need your help. I've noticed a number of people complaining that the roads in Chronopolis are a bit of a mess. Yet, no one seems to mention all the
a new TV. from Kang's prized prisoners. They are very special to him. Anyone caught even looking at them will have their sentence doubled. That includes any would-be heroes. I know you can hear me. Hey, give me a hand, will ya? <laughs> Today's prison soup of the day? Tears of Kang's enemies. The passcodes got really hard to remember, so I started leaving notes nearby. Luckily, the dimwits in this prison don't know how to run a computer. <laughs> I don't even bother to turn the mic off anymore. Due to unforeseen circumstances, today's scheduled walk around the Citadel Ring has been cancelled. Get me out of here. Opening Vault 616. Storage capacity currently at 132%. To be honest, it's getting to be a bit of a squeeze in there. Please talk to management about possible expansion. A polite reminder for all employees to clean up after themselves after they've done playing with the timeless artifacts. We don't want another noodle incident. Ugh. Doesn't look like this.
Star Lord, legendary outlaw. Star Lord, legendary outlaw. Here comes the spider -Man. Citizens with suggestions on how to improve Chronopolis can submit them to the big chasm surrounding my citadel. While it may look as though your idea is being thrown into the abyss, I actually have a very impressive and high-tech system in place for collecting this data. <laughs>